Obana. Whoa. Good day and welcome back to the Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov, outside Moscow, where, as you can see, the hatch has just swung open between the Soyuz TMA-10 and the International Space Station, with the leak checks having proceeded ahead of schedule following the docking of the Soyuz to the Zarya module's Earth-facing port at 2.10 p.m. Central Time, 11.10 p.m. Moscow Time. You're looking down into the Soyuz TMA-10, and you're looking at Charles Simonyi, the 58-year-old U.S. businessman, who uh, is about to float into the International Space Station to begin 11 days into the complex. First on board, Soyuz Commander and Flight Engineer Oleg Kotov as he embraces Flight Engineer Sonny Williams, Mike Lopez Alegria, and Mikhail Turin. Kotov was at the controls of the Soyuz during its automated approach and docking to the Zarya module just a little over an hour ago. Kotov uh, floating on to his new orbital home for the next half year. The crew again uh, a bit ahead of schedule in opening the hatches and greeting one another. Leak checks that were performed over the course of the last orbit uh, between the actual docking of the Soyuz to the Zarya module's Earth-facing port went very well, no issues. Uh, once a hard mate was established just a few minutes after the contact and capture between the two vehicles, enabling hooks and latches to engage one another. Fire system auto mode is deactivated. Charles Simonyi, the 58-year-old U.S. businessman, former Microsoft executive and software developer, now on board the International Space Station to begin 11 days of Earth photography work, experiments, and radio contacts under a commercial agreement he signed to fly in space with the Russian Federal Space Agency, Roscosmos. Fyodor Yurchikin, the Expedition 15 commander, now on board the International Space Station as well. Again, hatches opened uh, slightly ahead of schedule. The hatches were open at uh, 3.30 p.m. Central Time, 12.30 a.m. Moscow Time, about one hour and 20 minutes after the actual docking of the Soyuz to the International Space Station. The crew, uh, the six crew members now will make their way into the Zvezda service module as is customary to uh, take congratulatory calls from the uh, U.S. and Russian dignitaries and friends of Charles Simonyi who are gathered here at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. All of us personally congratulate you on such a wonderful, successful and professional docking. Um, we didn't count on anything less. What can I say? Well, have successful handover between the crews, prepare for the landing. Uh, we are expecting some of you here on the ground and to the rest of you guys. Most successful flight and completion of the entire flight plan. And we're always with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for kind words and congratulations. Well, uh, Try to make sure we will not let you down. Now, this is the Scientific Research Institute's NEMAS. Our warmest congratulations to the entire crew, to both crews, Oleg, Charles, Fyodor, Michael, Misha, Sunita. Uh, we wish you most successful flight, and we hope that our next uh, participant of uh, the space flight We'll have most wonderful and interesting 13 days on board the station and happy landing. Thank you very much from 
Uh, all our crew, I do believe that the uh, Expedition 14 crew can't wait to land and get back. But, and we are very happy to arrive here. Oleg, Charles, the other. I'm so impressed by the start, by your launch, and I wish you the most successful work on board this station. And, and, and we know that you are a real great international space team. And now, Charles, our friend, is a member of that team. You guys, you will do your best, no doubt. And yes, thank you very much. Thank you for the very high assessment of our international team. And everybody who knew us, who saw us working together, really emphasized that we are a real team. Michael Baker, I wish you the utmost success. Success in your mission on behalf of NASA. Fyodor, it's good to see you. You look good. Oleg, you look great too. And Charles, welcome to space, all of you. Michael, Misha, and Sunita. We look forward to seeing you soon. And Sunita, we're still working on your ride home. You'll, you'll get to set another record, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> you like to be here. Okay. Yeah, and we, we see in your t shirt MKS 14, MKS 15. I ask you, what about MKS 16? Charles, weightlessness becomes you. Did you hear me, Charles? Yes, Susie, I could hear you loud and clear. Well, you three look terrific. You look uh, totally in control, and uh, we're so anxious to read your blogs and hear everything about the first two days of space flight. Yes, I, I made about uh, three or four pages, handwritten pages of notes, and I'm just, just very anxious to transcribe them. And I, I wrote down practically every moment, every interesting moment of the flight. Okay, well, we send you Godspeed from all your friends and family and all the uh, people around the world who are cheering you on. Thank you so much. How, how was the launch, by the way? The this launch was beautiful, Charles. This is Martha. I just, Hi, Martha. I want to thank uh, your two captains for uh, such a safe and beautiful trip. And, um, and uh, I just want you to know that we all think that you are intrepid, a pioneer, and above all, guess what? You're out of this world. Martha, it's, it's really an honor to be here at this outpost. And, uh... Hello, everyone. This is Marissa, your chief in Asia, my darling. I love you. Guess what? He missed it. I will repeat it. But everybody else heard it. And, sweetheart, I love you too. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You're my hope. I love you very much. You're the bravest, the most beautiful girl on earth. Don't, please don't make me cry. I love you too. And here is Veta. Hi. Alec, hi. I'm very, very happy for you. Everything went just great, very successful, and I'm glad that everything went nominal. We love you very much, and we're already expecting you back. Yes, uh, my love and my kisses to all of you, too. Hi there, is Charles available? Is he sleeping? Hi. Hi Charles, can you hear me? It's your brother Tomas. Hi, he's looking something. Oh. Huh? Hi there, Charles. Yes? Come on, come on. It was a hit even I was my major communication was verbal. It's since 27 years there was no communication in Hungarian language.